What's up? Welcome to 5 Minute Thoughts. Uh, today I'm going to go through uh, technology and what I think of technology. So uh, let's go right into it. This is the 5 minute marker right now. All right, so technology is really disguised, you know, and what, what it is, uh, you know, that's not exactly what it is. I don't know everything, but my thoughts on it are uh, exactly as it goes. Technology, from what I've seen in my life, is uh, one place in the area gets really, really advanced uh, technologically to the point where they don't even want to lift a finger. And other places in the world suffer catastrophically for this. So technology shouldn't really be looked at advancement 100% per se. Not that I'm against technology. I love technology. Uh, technology is great. But it can be, you know, it, it is used to gather and to produce in other countries to uh, suffer. They don't have equipment. They don't have the right stuff to do what they're doing. And they're doing everything against what we would do here ourselves. And, you know, that's the biggest thing, too. Technology is make the right decisions and not do stuff here. And then we'll do it elsewhere. It's like, oh, we're not going to do this pipeline here. We're not going to do this here. And we just go right over to China and we get it made and we get it done by them who do it five times worse than we do with no industrial standardizations of any kind. And they have five men in a press just sitting in a press and, and a, the whole thing comes down on them. They lose an arm. They just throw their arm in a pile and they send a new guy in. I mean, technology isn't, technology is brutal warfare, brutal, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's changing the world, you know. Uh, the the technology gets stronger and everyone else gets weaker. So if you don't move on with the technology, you're going to end up uh, picking gold out of the dirt or whatever, uh, lithium or whatever is going on nowadays. Also, let's go to another subject of te technology is uh, the kids today in America. I mean, you can't find any placement of work of, of any kind. You know, I, I run a company myself and a couple. <clears throat> I own one and run one and... And I talked to every, everybody I could think of who does the same thing as I do, and you cannot find workers out here in the U.S. It's just if nobody wants to lift a finger because everybody's so comfortable with our technology. And, and, you know, you need to understand one thing about technology is that's what we're here to do. We're here to make it better for the next person. That's all we can do if you really think about it. You get, it's just to make it better for the next person. That's what we're here to do. Technology plays a big, huge role in that. But it's not to sit around and figure out how to make it so you don't lift a finger. You know, kids nowadays, I mean, there's a huge hygiene issue out there. There's huge issues out there that need to be somehow addressed. And, you know, uh, we're all, we're all cul culprits of, of the, uh, um, it's, it's, it's an addiction to, to let them do what they want to do because they're your kid. I don't know what to, you know, I'm not intelligent enough to come up with these great words like, like your other, you know, Joe Rogan and uh, what's the smart guy with the gray hair. I can't remember his name off the top, Jordan Peterson. You know, I'm nothing like that. I'm very uneducated as far as grammar goes and what I'm saying. I just got to give you my thoughts. What I'm saying is, yeah, based on the technology and the kid, the kids today, you know, they're, it's taken a radical turn to laziness. And you need to set yourself up for the next generation like I was talking about. The next generation, that's all you can do here. That's all you can leave. That's all everybody else left all this for you. Uh, we could not build any of this is through generations and hundreds of years of grunt work and wagon, wooden wagon wheels and uh, mining iron or uh, uh, blacksmithing steel. I mean, let me look how far we've came, you know, and uh, there's that's still going on in other parts of the world, you know, mainly not in the U.S. You know, now it's looked at an art trade or something like that. But uh, technology um, is great. But, uh, you know, let's, let's put on, a, you know, one of the world leaders, I call him world, okay, financial world leader, Elon Musk. You know, he's, you know, I don't want to talk bad about him, but that's great that you want to do, go, go to Mars and stuff. But what if you had a huge operation on, in millions and quadrillions of dollars on how to cure cancer? You know, how about, you know, who, who, who gives a tire about going to, to, to freaking uh, wherever you want to go, some other planet, Mars or what, I don't know. Go to the children's hospital, go there. And then you see who you want. What, that, that's what needs to be saved right now. We don't, we don't need to run around and save something that uh, doesn't need to be saved. That's like fixing something that don't need to be fixed. 
You know, if that's the case, why not just give me the money that he's spending on all that? And I'm not upset about that. I just, I, my, my son had cancer and I, I want to give to the, to the kids around the world that, that had suffering of that, you know, so, you know, that's, that's five minutes. Anyways, I got a little deep. <clears throat> Thanks for listening. Tune in on my next five minute thought.